Hello YouTube! Kagemaro here back in Naponia, and uh, sorry to say it, but I was getting a little tired of having absolutely no idea of what I could do, so I did uh, kind of look for a bit of a hint on something to do next, so we're gonna go do that, but it's just it. See how organically we can continue on. Hey, snot faces! What about making yourselves useful? Ha! You could stick this conductive antenna into that outlet. You mad? You mustn't poke things into outlets. Oh yada yada yada! You must have misunderstood. I've done it a thousand times. Here you go. And now. Hold on tight. Just wait. It's about to start. Ow! <laughs> Did you say something? No need to worry. Nothing happened to Uncle Rufus. A fuse, in case I need to refuse something. <laughs> Supposed to go down here. And what I ask? Ah, where are we? It's way. Okay, now that that's in, I don't know what exactly that does for me. What did that do? He's got a screw there for calibrating his pee reservoir. <laughs> He's in for a surprise when he wakes up. <laughs> Off the antenna, that. Electricity, then I could always see, and I wouldn't have to. F How did that help me? Okay, but it's uncomfortable. Complain? Got there. Oh, this? That was just lying around somewhere. And now you carry it around with you? Yeah, until I've used it. Then it usually dissolves into thin air. Uh -huh. What if you. Oh, this? And. Yeah, until He 
looks grumpy. I See that? What the? Oh, wait. Let's see if this works for them. I found the right design for your unit. Here. Hey, that's not bad. That looks sort of fierce. <laughs> you can say that again. A fierce magic elf, you cupcakes. Whatever it is. You found the right design for our squad insignia. Now we can get started. Are you sure you want to watch? Getting a tattoo isn't for sensitive souls. Sensitive souls, the very nerve. As you wish. Sensitive souls, Pyeh. I don't believe it. I've jammed hot needles in parts of my body that never on purpose, though. How do you know? It was so boring, I just fell asleep. Can I take this deck chair? Sure. I mean, sure. Do you need the, Do you need the instructions? Never. A Marine doesn't need instructions. Suit yourself! Suture's home. Marine? Are you sure hey, you don't mean Marine? No access for civilians! I'm not a civilian. I'm part of the Resistance. Which, by the way, is also why you were going to accompany me to the gate. Well, tough luck. I have new orders. I'm supposed to guard the radio and bring in any messages from the front. Well, I've got a message here. From the frontmost front. I have to get into the rebel camp. And Fronto, at Pronto. Then talk to the Major. She sets the priorities here. Yeah, you bet I'm going to. Wait a second, that's no Major. That's just Tony. You know Major T? Th th that's my ex-girlfriend. I see she's moving up in the world. Not just professionally. Nanny goat. Nanny goat? What? What does he say? Surprise! Rufus, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, and your mother smells of... What? It's what to see me? Good! Yeah. I was afraid something had happened to you. Hey, something's different. You got a new hairstyle? Close. A new therapist. That would explain it. Yoo-hoo! Tony! Ah, Rufus. Won't you sit down? I am sitting down. I need to talk to this new general. Can you take me through the gate? I could, but I won't. I need to finish my meditation first. Excuse me, does that mean you're just gonna sit here? The Organon might be initiating the detonation of our planet at this very moment. While the last high boat is still anchored at Ascension Customs? Unlikely. Unlikely, unlikely. Will you still be saying that when everything around here suddenly turns into a, a, a flaming fiasco? Oh, uh, now that was highly unlikely. You mean like back when you tried to turn lead into brass instruments? That was a completely different matter. Anyway, it would have worked if only I hit the high F sharp. Poor oh, Rufus, just relax. We've got everything under control here. The general has a plan. <laughs> I know exactly how I can draw out the old Tony. Spare yourself the effort. You should know me better than that. When have I ever made an effort?
There's three of me now. All right, now that is impressive, but also totally absurd. But it's true, I cloned myself. I think we would have noticed by now, from the reign of ash or some such thing. I have risen from the dead. Congratulations. Doesn't that scare you at all? Rufus, there was so many times when you blew yourself up, set yourself on fire, <gasps> slawed into your leg, or got trampled by stampeding buffalo. You really have to come up with some new tricks if you want to impress me. Aww. Do you remember how I secretly took photos of your mother in the bathroom? Yeah, but I never understood why. Because I never told you that I sold the pictures to old ogling Aussie. <laughs> of course, I had to throw in some, um, you know, underpants, or I couldn't have afforded the sticker album. You are such a prankster. Always good for a surprise. <laughs> that is not working. Do you remember how I tried to teach Mr. Woofy to fly? Yes, I certainly do. And I apologize if my reaction back then was a bit over the top. I just couldn't control my fists or my brass knuckles. Yeah, but you don't even know the best part. A week later, it worked after all. <laughs> and the story about Mr. Woofy being hit by a falling weather balloon is only half true, you know. What? Now that's a relief. In that case, my reaction was completely appropriate. Do you remember how I used your grandmother's urn as a pudding bowl? I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, but the, the thing is, that wasn't pudding at all. <laughs> hey, that's really a good answer to the question where that funky smell came from. Thanks for letting me know. I don't, I don't want to know. There's three really. of me, honestly. Oh, boring. Oh, I give up. You do? Oh, remind me to send my therapist a fruit basket. It's not over yet. What isn't over yet? Uh, no, well, it's over. But I'll be back. No rush. Oh, Rufus, what are you doing? I'm <laughs> Making you livid. I am, right? By playing around with the radio? Not at all. Be my guest. Huh? Really? Sure. Go ahead. Well, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. It, it's no fun when it's allowed. Okay, got a lunchbox. Well then, let's see what Lottie has in her lunchbox. What is that? Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fortune teller was right after all. Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fortune teller... No, this problem demands my undiv... Besides, I could break a nail trying to... Pouring oil on a fire is one of my favorite pastimes, but in this case, I may as well just go back on the conveyor belt. I have a letter from the front. Show it to Sergeant Bambi. She's on signal duty today. Hey, okay, let's see if this affects her. What's that you've got? Is that a message from the front? No less. Not from Bozo by any chance. <laughs> would I lie to you about such an important topic? Or would I leave the conclusion to your imagination in the hope that it might by chance help me out? Yeah, enough with the fancy schmancy. Give me the letter. My dearest honey bunch. Huh. Are you sure this letter is for me? Bambi. Honey, makes sense. Some people get poetic when they're mortally wounded. What? Ah, sorry, I <laughs> didn't mean to jump the gun. Wait, dearest honey bunch, uh, I wish you were here with me. Blah, 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 blah. To be more exact, I stepped on an organon landmine. Oh, no. 
Bozo, is he all right? Well... Is he still alive? Tell me! Or do I have to pull the information out of you in the form of your brain tissue through your nose? Hey, hey, stay calm. No reason to get aggressive yeah, that right That sounds away. uncomfortable. I'm just a mailman. Bozo is with his family. You should set out right away. Wait, there's more. Watch out for the mailman? Oh, no, the small print isn't that important. Go on. You're losing valuable time. Right. I need to be by his side. Hang on, Bozo. I'm coming. <laughs> that was easy. And I didn't even have to lie. Presenting the new and improved Rufus. Forget the Rufus you once knew. How did that help me? Who came up with that, you can sleep when you're dead nonsense? I didn't find death all that restful, really. Hey Lottie, can you come to the gate now to identify me? No, I can't right now! I have to wait until the swelling on my tattoo goes down! Uh, yes, but I said... It. No! Hello, I am Bailiff Argus. Tremble before the deadly punctuality of the Organon. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You found my breast milk pump. <laughs> what? Hey, Grandpa. No rushing me. Dinner is done when it's done. You weren't trying to climb it. What are you accusing me? That I haven't got a like. Okay, so I have that. Mama Bozo's breast milk. Who could have guessed? out here. Huh? Okay. Good idea. If I set the frequency of Tony's radio on the baby phone, I can reach Tony anytime. Easy. Now all that's left is the question of why I should radio her at all. She stopped fetching me from random bars with a wheelbarrow a long time ago. Of all the thousands of options for using a baby phone, that's the one I'd have to look up in the manual. Rufus to Tony! Rufus to Tony! Ah, oh, Rufus. Stop this nonsense and free the channel. Yeah, but... Tony, out. Ah! Okay. That's what I know. Rufus, why don't you just admit that... Wait a minute. One Rufus? Two Rufuses? <laughs> exactly. There's two of me now. Three, actually. Three times the action! Rufus! 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 Ah! All right, Tony, just stay calm. You have a good therapist, and you're gonna see him right now. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, that did something.
Yoo-hoo! Huh, nothing. Obviously, Tony's still in her therapy session. I see, does she want her hum hormones? Better not. I don't like thinking about that fiasco with my hormone cakes. Bozo is just unbearable when he's got PMS. Lottie didn't take her hormone. Maybe the fortune teller was right after all. What did he say? I don't remember that. I don't remember him saying something about Lottie's hormone. Therapy session in progress. Oh, such lousy timing. How am I supposed to get at the medicine now? And now suddenly, I see him twice. What does it mean? Is my subconscious trying to give me a heart attack? I have a feeling this is going to add months to my therapy. We must extend it. What? Make it even longer? Um, I mean, what the kind of schedule were you thinking of? Well, at least until the world ends. And after that, let's see. Oh. Yeah, nothing. I won't bother you now. And have you? I'm still browsing. Yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. And the target is also well chosen. By now, he must have realized that he needs help. Well then, let's relieve the poor devil. Whoopsie! There must be some strange updrafts here. Well, that took care of that. I was wondering how I was going to get the up here. Uh huh. What? There's a flyer stuck in the outside wall. Gah, what pathetic construction. Whoever made this obviously had no idea how to fold a proper paper airplane. Unlike me, of course. Therapeutic ropes. The cheaper alternative. What's that supposed to mean? Is somebody trying to yank my chain? And wait a minute. What's this? There's something stuck to the tip. A capital Yurk. Huh. Now I'm going to show that unknown, nameless amateur how you do this right. Whoopsie wee! Boy, they must have some funny downdrafts around here. And then it turned out he'd come up with the idea to store his fish hooks in my jewelry box. He'd already stuck the bait on them. It was so horrible. It made me wish my ears would fall off. I can relate to that right now. Ow! What is this? A flyer? Hmm. Sure, why not? Uh, Miss Tony, I have good news for you. I finally found the appropriate therapy for your problem. Wait a moment, I'll just write you a prescription. Oh wow, so beautiful. It fits. So far, so good. Now, what am I going to apply for? Yerk 75. There. Exciting! Wow! That went fast. <laughs> we hereby inform you that your application for medical help has been approved. Hey, cool! I bet they'll be sending me to sick bay now. Says here, for this category of injury, it will not be necessary for you to report to sick bay. Oh, a medic is already on his way to your location. Uh oh. Run, Rufus! Hey, you! Stop! Shh. Shh. <laughs> Let's 
see how our oh-so-heroic cowboy Dodo gets along with the organist. And then I knocked him out with a well-aimed karate chop. Wow. Ah, Rufus. We've got a new problem. Unfortunately, I had to use our rope to tie up the organ on. He popped up all of a sudden, and I was forced to subdue him. Anyone could have done that. Tell me, um, are you part of the medical staff? I think I feel an idea coming. Hold still. <laughs> it worked. Usually I drop all the glasses. Okay. I'd rather keep my stuff in my own coat. There's a lot more room in there. Give up? Why? What's wrong with him? First, I thought it was a simple case of food poisoning, but then I did a safety scan, just to be sure. There is no doubt about it. The patient has a tapeworm. <laughs> but, Doctor, a tapeworm is no laughing matter. This is serious. You must operate at once. <laughs> what? Me? Of course you. You're the doctor, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well. I'm the doctor. And removing a tapeworm is is uh, child's play for me. I mean, just how hard can it be? Oh, uh, 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 whatever you say. Uh, your coat is hanging over there, as usual. Uh, I'll go and get the dissecting kit and the bone saw. <laughs> yeah, I... Now, what was I about to do? Uh, Surgically remove the tapeworm? Ah, yes. Piece of cake. I am a sturgeon, after all. <laughs> uh, a surgeon, you mean? Uh, yeah, that too. Oh, this looks unfun. That's it! <laughs> uh, weren't you going to put him back together? Well, what do you mean? Do I have to? I think it would be beneficial to the patient. Oh, well, alright, fine. That's why he's right.
I am getting a lost here. Ow! That's right. Okay, all done. Close him up. Finally, how that? Now, that went really well. Don't you think so? I'm about to be sick. Oh, stop fetching. After all, I saved your life. And I even got myself a keepsake. Here. Oh, yuck. What's that supposed to be? Your tapeworm. What else? You know, you should pay a little more attention to what you stuff your face with. But never mind, we've got more important things to do. I found the rebels, and I need your help. Come on. Okay, well. I'm going to be leaving this episode here. They managed to get a few things done, actually. No thanks to that hint I got. Really not helpful at the moment. I suppose it'll help later after I get the radiator, but... Anyway, uh... Yeah, so we got... The tattoo for them, we found Tony... It was a little too mellow for my taste, I, I gotta admit. Oh, yeah. Got, Cle got Cletus out of Thick Bay, mostly. I'm sure whatever that was wasn't important. I don't really should have paid more attention to how they went in. Though it might not have mattered, you know, considering this game, but anyway, uh... Yeah. For now, gonna be saying adios, say video saying aloha, all that good stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's not hard. And until next time, uh, remember to keep track of your organs. Because, you know, you get in there, it's, everything's turned around, it's a little confusing, you know. It's a problem. See ya.